Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and in this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost weight eating ketogenically and how you can too. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around for more videos like this one to inspire you in your own keto weight loss journey. Welcome back everyone. In this video, you'll see everything that I ate this week in the last seven days to maintain my weight on keto. Yes, I have lost 200 pounds and I am going into maintenance phase and I am trying to figure out what I need to eat in order to stop losing weight on keto. Who knew that would be a thing? I never want to go back to eating the standard American diet. I want to figure out how to make keto sustainable because it's given me such freedom and ability to have control over my food choices and to just feel so good. It's basically almost cured my depression and anxiety. It has greatly lessened those things and I want to be this happy and this energetic for the whole rest of my entire life. So. That's why I'm making this video. I want to still share everything that I eat on maintenance. If you are looking for videos on how you can lose weight on keto, I'm going to go ahead and link my lose weight foods playlist. Keep in mind, I've been posting my food here on my channel for more than two years and all of it is here available in different playlists up in the red tabs at the top of the page. You can also find my community tab there where you find links to my Patreon and also fun videos that I like to share occasionally with my viewers from other the people. So don't forget to check out the community tab. It doesn't get a lot of love. I'd love to see you up over there. So with that, no further ado, we will get to my maintenance food for this week. Hey everyone, it's Sunday afternoon. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm breaking my fast with my first meal of the day, which is just some French toast chaffles. It's my cinnamon chaffles, the blueberry ones without the blueberries basically, with a tablespoon of butter and three tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup. And then I have 55 grams of bacon and a Primal Thin Bar. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. One, it's Sunday night and this is going to be my second meal of the day. I am having 200 grams of cauliflower with an ounce of mozzarella cheese, 50 grams of carrots, 30 grams of onion, and six, no, seven ounces of chuck roast with a little bit of xanthan gum thickened gravy, basically bouillon xanthan gum. That's it um, on top of that. And then a little later, I'm probably going to have some heavy whipping cream and cream cheese. I'll try to remember to film that but for right now this is what I'm having for my last meal of the day all right here is my little keto mousse I am having one ounce of cream cheese mixed with four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and some mio water enhancer that's it <laughs> and it makes a delicious little dessert all righty everyone it is 316 and I am just finishing up my DEXA scan so I'm finally going to eat because I like to do them without an empty stomach and they had to do a late afternoon appointment and so I made today peanut butter chocolate chip chaffles and since I'm doing higher calorie I added two tablespoons of peanut butter to this recipe and I did three ounces of cheese instead of two and that's all and then I just put the, the chips the chocolate chips like normal so I think I did 30 no 28 grams of chocolate chips amongst the four they're kind of floppy because I had to put them in the bag hot and that's what happens if you don't let them crisp up which is a bummer but I'm gonna still eat them anyway then I'm having a Julian bakery protein bar and a cup of 0% Faye Greek yogurt sweetened with acai berry mio water enhancer and that's gonna be my first meal of the day Alrighty everyone, it's Monday night. I'm having leftover chuck roast from yesterday. I'm having 8 ounces of chuck roast, 50 grams of carrots, and a whole package of cauliflower rice, 283, gra 283 grams of cauliflower rice, with some xanthan gum bouillon gravy. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Hey everyone, today I have a goal of 2300 calories and I'm going to go ahead and try doing three meals today. So this is gonna be my first meal. It is 90 second bread that I made basically with three tablespoons of almond flour, one egg, uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder, some sweetener and cinnamon. And then I cooked it up for 90 seconds in a little mug, cut it in half and fried it with a tablespoon of butter in the pan, added an ounce and a half of provolone cheese and 44 grams of center cut bacon and one more egg to make like an egg McMuffin. Then here I have 0% Faye Greek yogurt. It is still the 0% because I have not yet bought any of the full fat yet. 
for when I'm doing maintenance, so I'm just using up what I already have. Today I mixed it with just some liquid stevia, some powdered erythritol, a capful of vanilla, and two tablespoons of Bake Believe chocolate chips. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. I am also having a cup of herbal tea with two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. That's going to be everything that I eat for my first meal of the day. Hey everyone, here I am at the dance studio with my kids. And I am having my second meal of the day. I am having cheddar garlic truffles. I did three ounces of cheddar cheese, two eggs, and some garlic and some salt and pepper. And a primal thin protein bar. That's going to be my second meal of the day. Alright everyone, it is Tuesday night. And I am having two 75-25 fat ground meat patties with 19 grams of cheddar and 40 grams of lettuce and some mustard and that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's noon, it is Wednesday and I'm at the dance studio and I'm going to start out my day with 5% Faye Greek yogurt, 150 grams mixed with 4 tablespoons of heavy cream, <laughs> it's going to be new for me, with a lemonade Mio water enhancer and 2 blueberry chaffles. I also added cream cheese in them and on them and that is going to be my first meal of the day. Number two, dance studio number two, two more chaffles and a primal thin bar. Ooh, alrighty guys, it is Wednesday night, yeah. It is Wednesday night, and I will just say that trying to get your fats high enough without making your proteins too high is really harder than I thought it would be. Tonight I'm having Quest Chip Nachos, like normal, but I'm having two ounces of cheddar cheese, a packet of holy guacamole, four tablespoons of salsa, four tablespoons of sour cream, 20 olives, I think that's all. I think that's all that's on here. But yeah, like, I am gonna, I'm over my carbs today by 10 net. I'm at 30 net carbs with what I've eaten today. And so I couldn't do a lot of the fattier things like the, like, extra cheese has extra protein. Couldn't do heavy whipping cream or cream cheese because it has carbs. Yeah, it was a little bit more complicated than I imagined. So... This is where I'm at. I didn't quite make it to 2300. Today's an ed exercise day, and so I was trying to do 2300. I had 2200 as far as I could go. So I'm going to eat this and hope it's good enough. And that's going to be my last meal of the day. And then I'm going to add this. I got this a while back from Melanie from Princess Ninja and Keto, and now I'm actually going to use it. See that? It has one net carb, 22 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein. So it's actually perfect for what I'm trying to do right now. So I hope it tastes good. Hey everyone, it's Thursday and here I am at Commonwealth School. It is 12.30 in the afternoon and I am breaking my fast. This is going to be my first meal of the day. I have pumpkin chocolate chip chaffles. I put cream cheese in them and on them with a little erythritol mixed in. And then I'm going to have five grape tomatoes and a cup of 5% Faye Greek yogurt mixed with four tablespoons of heavy cream and two squirts of Lemonade Mio water enhancer. That's going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Thursday night and tonight I am having, I made some chicken tenders breaded with almond flour, egg and cooked in bacon fat. I guesstimated the portions on that, I guesstimated the bacon fat at about two teaspoons and I guessed, or no, one tablespoon and I guesstimated the almond flour at two tablespoons. It's not perfect, but I think it's pretty close. And then I have 150 grams of broccoli with two tablespoons of butter and some cauliflower rice with um, xanthan gum bouillon gravy. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Friday afternoon. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I am breaking my fast with a huge first meal of the day. I am only eating two meals today. Um, and I decided to make my first meal have most of my calories. So this is a crazy amount of food. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat all of this. But this whole meal right here is 1,100 calories, and I'm shooting for 1,800 today, so that leaves me 700 for dinner, which should be pretty sufficient. So what I have here is my blueberry chaffles. It's my normal blueberry chaffles recipe, but I added an ounce of cream cheese in the recipe, 
and I put some on top with a little bit of erythritol mixed in with it so it makes kind of a frosting. So it's two eggs, three ounces of mozzarella cheese, one ounce of cream cheese in, and one ounce of cream cheese on. So that's a lot of dang cream cheese and have calories and fat for those truffles. And then I have six Falls brand sausages, 150 grams of 5% a 5% Faye Greek yogurt sweetened with a new flavor that I just found, cherry blackberry meal, which is oh my heck delicious. And 50 grams of avocado with a little salt and Tony Sachery's seasoning or Sachery's, however you pronounce that, on top. And that is gonna be my giant first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Friday night and I am having Quest Chip nachos again. Basically the same thing I've had before. One package of Quest chips. I'm doing three ounces of chicken breast, three tablespoons of green enchilada sauce, 50 grams of tomato, 50 grams of lettuce, um, three tablespoons of salsa, three tablespoons of daisy sour cream, two ounces of cheddar cheese, and a package of holy guacamole. And that is gonna be exactly what I need for 1800 calories and put me exactly where I was intending to go for today. And I'm very proud of myself, so that's gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Saturday. It is about 12.30 in the afternoon, and I'm breaking my fast with my first meal of the day. Today I'm having blueberry cream cheese truffles again because they're freaking awesome. So it's basically two eggs, two ounces of cream cheese, one ounce is in them and one ounce is on them. Um, three ounces of mozzarella cheese and some blueberries, about 24 grams of blueberries with sweetener and cinnamon. The recipe is on my channel without the cream cheese. I added the cream cheese in for the fat for my maintenance. Then four Falls brand sausages and 150 grams of 0% Valle Greek yogurt with um, black, no, cherry blackberry meal, which is awesome by the way, it's so good, and two tablespoons of heavy cream. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. This is my little treat bag. I have my treat with me in a little cooler and I'm just gonna take it in like it's a purse. Alrighty everyone, it's Saturday night. I'm here at dinner with my girlies. We just went to a meeting and I am splitting wings with her. So she's getting six of my wings and all of my croutons and most of my carrots. And I'm getting six wings and a side salad with ranch dressing. And I pre-tracked three tablespoons. I'm just gonna guess on that and that's gonna be my last meal of the day. Well, there you have it. Everything I ate this week to maintain my weight on a ketogenic way of eating. Each of these days had a specific calorie goal, either 1,800 or 2,300 calories. And so I'm still tweaking and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm doing maintenance on keto. As I progress, things are gonna change a little bit, I'm sure. But for now, this is what I ate this week and I hope that it helped you get some ideas. I'm sure you can tweak some of these to make them work for fat loss, which is great. Don't forget the end card. You can find the playlist for all of my videos on how you can lose weight on keto, not for maintenance, if that's what you're looking for. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. We'll talk to you all again soon.